The pro-abortion industry is encouraging women to keep their abortions a secret, opening them up to a host of health risks and complications. A new alert from research experts at the Charlotte Lozier Institute shares that when women suffer complications from taking chemical abortion pills, their abortions are often miscoded by hospital personnel as natural miscarriages. CLI reports that as many as 60 percent of these abortions are regularly miscoded. Dr. James Studnicki at CLI said, quote, we are witnessing a cover-up by the abortion industry, aided by willing allies in the media and in politics. For more details on this, we now welcome Tessa Longbond, Senior Research Associate at the Charlotte Lozier Institute. Tessa, thanks for joining me. You know, this issue of miscoded abortions is not something that we often hear about when we talk about the chemical abortion issue. Could you explain for us what exactly that is? Yes, this is just another example of the abortion industry trying to hide the truth about the risks of chemical abortion, mm -hmm. and it's women who pay the price. So these are women who went to the emergency room after having an abortion, and for multiple reasons, perhaps they misled their doctors, perhaps a pro-choice doctor didn't report it, the complication correctly, or perhaps somebody made a mistake, but their abortions were miscoded as natural miscarriages. And what we found is that this can impact the type of care and treatment that women receive. In a groundbreaking first of its kind study, we looked at uh, women who had gone to the emergency room following abortion, and we found that by 2015, which was the most recent year of data in our data set, 60 percent of chemical abortion-related emergency room visits were miscoded as miscarriages. Mm, that is so tragic. And, you know, we've talked a lot on this show about how dangerous chemical abortions are. But what other uh, risks are women open up to when their doctor or whoever's treating them doesn't know that they've had an abortion? For this group of women who went to the emergency room after an abortion, women whose chemical abortions were miscoded had double the risk of being admitted to the hospital for surgery to complete the abortion mm. and significantly increased risk of multiple hospitalizations. Mm. And in fact, the FDA tells abortion providers to remind women to take information with them if they need to go to the emergency room so that doctors know how to treat them and give them the help that they need. And if a woman doesn't share with her doctor what's happening, she can be at risk of not getting the care she needs in a timely manner. Mm, so unfortunate. And, you know, there are recent pieces in the mainstream media at New York Magazine, Daily Coast, other, other mainstream media sources that are saying, you know, there's really no medical reason to, to let your doctor know that you've had an abortion. What's your response to that claim? It is irresponsible and dangerous to tell someone to lie to their doctor. Abortion advocates like to present this advice as benefiting women, but in reality, it only benefits and enables the abortion industry at the expense of women's health and safety. Mm. This is yet another example of the abortion industry putting profits ahead of human lives, and it's putting women at risk. So what's being done about this? Is there anything that we can do to remedy the situation? Is, is anybody doing anything? The most important thing is education. Women deserve to know the truth about chemical abortion and the risks it entails. And so since this is a growing issue, we're trying to spread the word at Charlotte Lozier Institute. And we want to make sure that the general public, women who are considering abortion, doctors, uh, the media are aware of the risks and what's going on. So mm. we just really encourage people to educate themselves so that they can present accurate information to people who are looking for the facts. The work you're doing is so important. We're very thankful for you. Tessa Longbonds of the Charlotte Lozier Institute. Thanks so much for having me.